But I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm going back to the meat. Welcome back to the channel, Nastasia here. For those of you who don't know me, I also go by Keto Jamaican Girl. And here on this channel, I simply share keto tips, keto tricks, and delicious keto recipes that are full of flavor. So if you are interested in that, you wanna go ahead and click that subscribe button. And you also wanna click the bell so you can see when I upload new recipe videos or when I go live. Today I am sharing with you another what I eat in a day, but this is not like the other ones. This is completely different. I told you guys in my last grocery haul that I was changing up my way of eating for the next couple of weeks so I decided to come on here and share with you a full day of eating just to give you a sense of what that looks like. Today I am sharing with you a plant-based slash vegan keto what I eat in a day. I feel like I'm starting to get a hang of the vegan eating and I am enjoying it more than I actually thought I would. I don't know guys I don't know if I'm going back to the meat. I'm really really enjoying it. Would you guys stick around if I didn't eat meat anymore? Let me know in the comments below if you guys would still be interested in meals that weren't centered around me. The way I structured my menu was I tried to create meals that aren't too far off from what I was eating before. It's very important that I don't go extremely restrictive and then I lose interest in what I'm eating and then I don't want to commit to it. So what I did was I structured a meal plan that was similar to the foods I was eating before but did not contain meat, dairy, or eggs. And I've really been enjoying it so I'm going to share with you um, a full what I eat in a day and I hope this is helpful for you. If it is, let me know in the comments below. So I will see you guys in my my first meal. So for my first meal of the day, I'm going to have some plant-based shuffles. I'm going to be using these meatless breakfast patties, some just egg. I also have here some peppers and some onions, avocado, and vegan cheese. I learned later on that those patties do have egg in them, so I'm going to stop using it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spray my mini waffle maker here with some co coconut and avocado oil. I'm sprinkling in the chopped up peppers and red onions. And then to that, I'm going to go ahead and add my just egg once they have cooked down. I um, tried out my first shuffle with a little bit of the cheese so I just put a sprinkle of it and I'm being careful with that cheese because it is higher carb than regular cheese and of course I'm seasoning it you know your girl loves to have some flavor so I'm going to work this shuffle out and get started on our second shuffle but this time around I'm not going to be using any cheese as I don't think it made much of a difference to the structure of our first shuffle so I put the peppers and onions again let it cook a little bit with my spray and then I added in enough just egg to fill it up to the line. I seasoned it again with some seasoned salt and then I closed it, no cheese. And it came out um, actually better than the first one I think, but I'm not going to be using any vegan cheese in my shuffles going forward because as I said, they're higher carb and um, it's not necessary. So to make this a true keto, plant-based keto sandwich, I'm adding some avocado there to it. I'm also adding some tomatoes for freshness. And then we're going to close up our keto, plant-based keto breakfast sandwich. So here you see me cutting it down like the thick, delicious sandwich that it is. And here goes the magic, guys. Just look at that. Oh, yes. Oh yes, that is our plant-based keto breakfast sandwich. Very similar to what I was eating before, but it's all plant-based. So that is the first meal of the day and I will see you guys at my next meal. So good, so yummy. Look at that, get into it, get into it.
so I'm going to start prepping my pecan meat by letting the pecan soak so I'm going to measure out about two cups of these pecan halves that I bought in my previous grocery haul I got it from Sam's Club this big bag of pecans from Sam's Club so here goes one full cup of those pecan halves and I'm going to measure out another full heaping cup of those pecan halves and then I'm going to add some vegetable broth so that the pecans are soaking in flavor and I'm going to let that soak for about 30 minutes and then we'll drain off that liquid now this is the pecan halves after they have been soaking for about 30 minutes I'm going to add them to my food processor we will start flavoring it and then blend it up now after I have added all of the drained pecan halves to my processor I'm going to add about two tablespoons of nutritional yeast now to that I'm going to add some cut up red onions you guys saw the red onions that I had there this is about um, a half of that about a quarter to a half of that um, red onion that I had in the Ziploc bag now to that I'm going to add some um, garlic and I am using some garlic paste or garlic puree that I have here in the container just to save myself some time but you can use fresh garlic maybe like two cloves of garlic and there goes my garlic um, paste now to that I'm going to add some liquid aminos this is very important to the flavor of our meat so but also I'm being very careful because liquid aminos can be quite salty so I'm going to put just a couple of drops there just to give it uh, that salty meaty flavor now to that I'm going to add some all-purpose seasoning because I put that on everything now to finish this off I'm going to add some seasoned salt and a little bit of olive oil and then we're all ready to blend so I'm going to blend this up until I get to my desired texture but I'm going to stop it every so often just to make sure that I'm not ending up with mush because we want a meat texture so I'm just scraping the sides to get everything to the center and then we can blend again and we get a unified texture throughout so I'm just going to blend it a little bit more being careful not to over process it and um, just a little bit more time on it checking it every so often and then we get to this texture right here and I think it's just absolutely perfect and it mimics ground beef very well the flavor of all the seasoning has now been blended into that and this is what it looks like before we start cooking it as we would meat so this is my pecan meat and it lasts me for more than one meal this is a very big batch for me so I'm gonna go ahead now and spray my pan with some olive oil and then I can add my pecan meat and I'm just roughly measuring out how much I think I would need um, just to make this meal as you know this is not real meat so I just want to make sure I'm making enough that's going to keep me full and pecans are high in fat and low in carbs so I am trusting that this amount that I cooked up here will be enough so I have my um walnut meat i have my cauliflower rice and a salad i'm going to be using um this ranch dressing here this um vegan ranch dressing if you watch my uh, plant-based keto grocery haul you'll know the macros on these but um, the macros on this are one gram of carbs for two tablespoons just like all the other ones that we would normally use so yeah <clears throat> that is going to be my dinner I was feeling a little snackish so I went ahead and got a square of these keto nut butters that I got from Whole Foods Market. So um, I got a piece of that here and I got some almonds. One of my favorite snacks is chocolate and almonds and this is how it looks in the center and um, it has nut butter in the center and then on the outside it's dark chocolate. I've really been enjoying snacking on these. So this closes out my first plant-based slash vegan keto what I eat in a day. If you made it to the end of this video, please go ahead and drop your chocolate bar emojis in the comment section just to let me know you're here and supporting. I really appreciate you guys. If you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up as it helps my channel. And don't forget to turn your bells on guys so you can see when I go live or when I upload my new videos. Thanks again for being here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!